Okay, I'm Ryan. I'm Bart. Uh, we're from the Black Dahlia Murder. Cool. Um, so, uh, first off, um, you guys have had a lot of drummers. Well, uh, yeah, we've had a few throughout the course of the ages. H how, do you, how do you feel um, that's affected your sound as a band? I, actually, th except for the first uh, record um, on Hollow, I don't think it affected us too much because, uh, you know, when you, when you go into the studio, um, there's a lot of pro tooling that can be done to make make a drummer good and you know you play to a click and there's a lot of editing so really the, uh, as long as the ideas are good it's going to usually come out pretty good in the studio so I don't think the overall sound has been you know negatively affected by having different drummers really I think there's different styles definitely throughout you can tell you know but um, yeah the difference between Unhollowed and Miasma is just you know, yeah. the drums they sound a lot different you know it's, yeah, not, I mean, it's not bad but it, it, it is different which I is I mean I think cool. Zach did step it up from where we were yeah. originally you know what I mean and uh, I think that kind of set the bar a little higher and then I think, um, you know, we had Pierre in the band for a short time, and I think that set the bar, the bar really high, too. And Shannon has just um, just ruled yeah. from, there, from there on yeah, out. Yeah, you so. guys are sounding great. I could hear yeah. those drums from all the way across. So. Cool, cool. Good thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see here. Uh, your first, uh, your first uh, I don't know, I guess an EP, your first album, What a Horrible Night to Have a Curse. That's, uh, that's a Castlevania re reference, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Trevor's big Castlevania fan. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's basically like the the load screen when it goes from like yeah, day to yeah. night. You know what I mean? So what so a horrible like, night to have a curse. Yeah, it's just whatever. It's just kind of yeah. bloody tears is another good song. Just, yeah. just saying. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so, so does uh, does the, the Black Dahlia murder itself have anything to do with y'all's music, or is that just a a cool murder that you thought of? That yeah, I mean, might that was basically just Trevor being like, oh, we need a band name, and like looking on the internet and finding that, and like not believing that no one's already taken it for a band name being like bam you know so. has a lot to do with the death of the american dream too yeah, yeah, yeah. i heard him say yesterday so yeah. you know like lady comes out of california you know aspiring big dreams and then she just gets fucking hacked up and murdered you know like sweet um this is a question we're just asking everybody um how do you guys feel about piracy in music today's um i don't know it's a hard, that's a, the hardest question in the biz, I would say, you know, like, I, can, I get most of the records that I listen to all the time for free, like, borrow them, burn them off a friend, you know, whatever, so I'm just as guilty as anybody, but at the same time, you know, bands like us, we're trying to make our living off of this, and, you know, obviously, the more stuff that gets pirated, the less money we make, and if we're trying to make it our living, then that's, you know, that's hard, so... It's, it's, it's a tough thing. I think it's, it, w it won't change until there really gets to be a really good way to buy music digitally where you can go on, like, say it's iTunes or whatever, where you can go on there and you can find every record ever, every obscure death metal record, every whatever. Yeah. When it gets to that level, I think you'll see less piracy, you know. But right now, that's not possible, so. So you guys are uh, pretty popular out here in the States. Um, How has your reception been in Europe? Uh, Europe was good. Um... I actually did my first tour with the band in Europe uh, this past January and February, and we were over there for uh, six weeks. And uh, yeah, the shows, uh, the response, they're really good. Um, do you get a do you get a much of a different feel from the audiences out there than you do here? Uh, it's a little different over in Europe, but I mean, I mean, I think people are really into it over there. You know, they like guitar solos, they like to bang their head, so. Yeah, cool. the kind of music you guys play. I mean, in the states, that's what's getting popular. But it seems like out in Europe that 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 sound is just starting to move its way in. Well, I mean, I think our sound has a lot originally to do with like European bands anyway. So it's kind of like yeah. just comes full circle. You know what I mean? There's so definitely a bit of a black metal influence in there. Yeah, black metal, like you know, like at the gates and that Scandinavian yeah, absolutely, style. Absolutely. <laughs> so I mean, I think for them, it's like. You know, after they got over the whole like thinking that we're like a metalcore band, I think a lot of the a lot of the kids over there are starting to accept us and like us. So it's great, yeah. Good fans. Yeah. So, um, have you guys uh, played with Slayer before, or is this your first time? No, I until this tour, definitely not. I've never played with Slayer either. Yeah, how so. does that feel as metalheads? Awesome. It's really awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> couldn't couldn't ask for much uh, better of a band to be on a bill with. So. Dream come true, yeah. sort of sort of stuff. And Manson too. This brings in lots of kids that oh, yeah. have not been exposed yeah, to yeah, music yeah. like this. Oh yeah, tons of kids. So yeah, if I was in eighth grade, and you were like, one day you're gonna be on tour with Marilyn Manson. I'd have been like, yeah, all right, man, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> cool, cool. 
Um, let's see, just uh, one more question. Uh, what's coming up for you guys? I know you have a new album that's going to be coming out yep. soon. You just released a DVD. What's else? Yeah, what DVD else just out? came out in May. It's doing pretty well. We're stoked about it. Kids seem to be liking it. Um, we got a new record, Deflorate. comes out September 15th. <coughs> uh, so real, we're real stoked for people to get to hear it and see what they think about it. You know, we're pretty stoked on it and just want other people to hear it. Basically, you know. Yeah, well, the, the new song sounded good. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. All right, and um, just one thing: would you guys be willing to do a drop for us for our radio show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just right. tell us the. Uh, right. Yeah. So where do you have that piece of paper? Uh, where? This one. Okay. <coughs> yeah, just uh, KGLR 95.3 FM. That's KGLR so, 95.3 FM. Yeah. And just say, you know, introduce yourselves, tell your Black Dahlia murder. You want to, like, we, you are listening to? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay, I'll say, you are listening to, you say that. Okay. And then. I might have to take a couple takes. <laughs> hey, that's that's all all like, gotta be no, wait a minute, you should say. Oh, wait, I'll say, this is Bart from the Black Dahlia murder. You are listening to. Blah, 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 blah. Not, but, and I'll say, I'm Ryan. Yeah, I'm Ryan. Okay, wait, you say, yeah, that's good, that's good. You say, you say all you do is say. This is Ryan, and then you give it okay. to me, and I'll say all the rest. Okay, all right, let's do that. All right, go.